Since the last Oceanology Conference, the world's gone through a pretty turbulent time. We've seen all the impacts of um, economic pressures, um, some, some major changes around, around the globe. Fortunately, in the uh, industry sector represented by Oceanology, those impacts have been very, very slight. In fact, we've seen growth in most of the areas um, of industry that are represented in the Oceanology Conference. We've also seen new technology developments and we're seeing the emergence of new application areas for those technologies. In putting together the Oceanology programs, we're looking at two things. Making sure we convey what's happening in each key area of technology, but also addressing the demand side for those technologies, understanding the application areas. So the conference, as in the previous Oceanology, is really divided into two parts. One part dealing with new technologies and what's happening in areas of technology, and another part dealing with the application of those technologies. Ocean science and technology are at the heart of the Oceanology exhibition. The conference program picks up on each major strand of technology represented in the exhibition hall. As well as our traditional areas of ocean observing systems, hydrography, geophysics and site investigation, and dealing with developments in unmanned underwater vehicles, we've introduced three new conference programs in this year's event. Central to many of the application areas of ocean technology is the ability to know where we are underwater, to make precise measurements and to be able to communicate data and information through um, the water column. So to cater for emerging technologies in this area, we've introduced new conference programs dealing with underwater positioning, underwater metrology and underwater communications. The unique attribute of oceanology is that it links all of these technologies to many different application areas and this year's event is no exception. For this year's conference we have conference programs dealing with operating in extreme environments, understanding all the issues that the oil and gas industry faces moving into places like the Arctic and how technologies are brought to bear in solving working in those very difficult environments. We have a conference program on maritime security reflecting the, uh, some of the events that have happened in the last two years um, which have created growth in demand for security of um, maritime installations and we have the rapid growth in the marine renewables area and its demands for technologies to support survey installation and maintenance. For this year's conference we've introduced the concept of topical um, panel discussions and what we're trying to do here is look at areas which are creating a growing demand for um, marine science and technology. And we've selected three areas which have emerged as key new development areas in the last two years. We've seen rapid growth in aquaculture around the world and we'll be exploring through panel discussions the technologies that are required to support aquaculture developments. We're seeing new legislation related to the treatment and disposal of ballast water and that is also creating demands for technologies, new sensor technologies and new technologies for monitoring disposal. And particularly over the last 12 months we've seen the emergence of subsea mining um, as an area which is set to potentially grow quite rapidly and we'll be exploring the technologies that are required to support subsea mining operations.